It was not the ending that either leader had planned for their second high-profile face-to-face meeting. Sometimes you have to walk. Talks between President Donald Trump and North Korea's Kim Jong-un collapsed, leaving a dispiriting end to high-stakes meetings meant to disarm a global nuclear threat. Some analysts believe this was actually a good result. I, I think, you know, the adage of no deal is better than a bad deal. I've been critical of the president's North Korea policy, but I think uh, he did the right thing. It, it was clearly a bridge too far for what North Korea was asking for. Mere hours after both nations had seemed hopeful of a deal, the two leaders' motorcades roared away from the summit site within minutes of each other. Their lunch cancelled and a signing ceremony scuttled. Even the reason for the breakdown is now in dispute. In an abruptly scheduled middle-of-the-night news conference, North Korea's foreign minister denied Trump's account of why the summit fell apart. If the United States removes partial sanctions, namely removes the articles of sanctions that hamper the civilian economy and the livelihood of our people in particular, we will permanently and completely dismantle all the nuclear material production facilities in the Nyungbyan area, including plutonium and uranium. Trump said before leaving Hanoi that the talks broke down because Kim insisted that all the punishing sanctions the U.S. has imposed on Pyongyang be lifted without the North committing to eliminate its nuclear arsenal. Uh, I think it was a good development that the, the president indicated neither the U.S. nor North Korea seem intent on raising tensions. And I'm about to get on a plane and fly back to a wonderful place called Washington, D.C. While it appears unlikely that the days of fire and fury will return soon, diplomats on both sides will now have to return to the negotiating drawing board. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.